playing scales is a very good way to help connect your ideas and to also take you to different places when you're improvising. And one scale a lot of people use, of course, um, I'm sure if you've ever taken any classes in jazz improvisation, is the bebop scale. And all that basically is is a major scale, just adding the dominant seven and just adding the flat seven. So if you're in the key of uh, C, you're going to have regular major scale C all the way up to B, but then you're going to also add a B flat. So just listening, uh, I'm going to play a, a bebop scale in F, concert F, and um, I'm on tenor sax, so it's going to be in G. But when I play it, uh, I'm going to show you different ways of going around this bebop scale. And there's what I like to use, and what I tell my students is to use the chords, the chordal notes, chordal tones, uh, the one, three, five, and seven as the pivot notes. So use those as ways of going up and down. And so say you start on a G and then you go up to a B and then you go back down maybe to an F. And so you're just using these uh, these chordal tones, the one, three, five, and, and flat seven as the uh, as the pivot notes. So I'll just demonstrate that a little bit here. And then a very common uh, lick that's used a lot in playing the bebop scales is that's one that a lot of people use. Um, so when you're playing the scale you can use it to end or you can use it to begin your your scale. So you can start off with that's one way of doing it or so that's that's ways of adding little licks with your patterns and in the next video I'll show you how to basically bring in a lot of different patterns and use that bebop scale to connect those patterns